Uh, hi guys. So uh, now we are going to see how uh, we can create the application and uh, I mean how to create the page components and other stuff. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a navigation menu over here or uh, better what I'll do. I'll create a blank page first. Yeah. So just go to this place or, you know, we have multiple ways to create the blank page. For example, let me go back to application itself. So once you go to the application, you have an option to called create page. Yeah. So when you click on this create page, you will be able to see you have a lot of options. Creating calendar, cards, chart, classic report, com comments, all these things. For now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a blank page. So when I click on next, uh, I'll get a page number over here like this. The default incremented number will get. So uh, page number one is already there. And that's why I'm getting this number as two. Let it be as it is. And here I'm going to write a uh, type of regions. Okay, so I'm just going to write type of regions. Let it be page mode as normal. Model dialog and drawer we will we will learn later. Uh, let this option as it is breadcrumb use breadcrumb yes use navigation yes. Here we have an option called icon, so we'll give an icon to this page or this navigation menu actually. So I'll just say region. Uh, okay, let it be. We'll select this region. Uh, or do we have anything better? Mm, anything better? Maybe files. So, okay, let's let's take this one. Uh, okay, now we'll click on create page, and our page got created. Here you can see page number two got created. And now you can run the page from here. Or you can refresh this region, uh, this entire application itself. Let's if I refresh this entire application, you'll find that a new tab got created over here. When you click on this new tab, you can see you got a new page. The breadcrumb we call it as breadcrumb. This place is nothing but a breadcrumb thing. You got a breadcrumb as type of regions and a blank page. Correct. Uh, now this navigation menu menu you can ex expand or collapsed from here. So if you click on it, it will get collapsed. If you click on it, it will get expanded. Yeah. So let it let it be collapsed for now. Uh, this is what we got a blank uh, page like this. Now if I now if you uh, click on this page two, you'll go to the back end of page two. Okay. Here you have multiple options like pre-rendering thing, components, post-rendering, all these things. So for now, what I'm going to do, click on this body and right click on the body. When you click right click on the body, you get an option as create region, create page item, create button. Okay, you get all these three options. So now you have an option to create the region. Okay, now you can click on this create region, a region will get created or you have another option. If you look into this uh, middle pan, we call it as pan. So this is left side pan. This is middle pan and this is right side pan. Okay. Let me just scroll it like this. Okay. Yeah. So here in the middle pan, you can see you have multiple uh, regions. Uh, I mean, options are already there. You can create static regions, smart filter, search, all these things. Fine. If you hover, uh, click on this items, you have an options that you can create multiple items, type of items from here itself. If you click button, you can see you have an option to, you know, uh, create button from here itself. So when I'm saying you can create button from here or create item from here or create region from here, it means what you can do, uh, for example, uh, what you can do, this is our body, uh, uh, re uh, body, uh, you know, section of the the page. If you go up, you can see you have banner. Over here, you have banner, then a breadcrumb, and you'll get a full width content uh, section, then a body section. So here, static content option is there, right? So as as soon as you just click on it and you know hold your mouse button, and you can drag and drop from there to here. So you when you do it, a region get created in the back end. And you can see in the left side also, you can see this region got created. The name of this region is new. 
and it got created in the banner section. Fine. I don't want it in banner section. I want it in a body section. So you, what you can do, you just over uh, hold uh, this region and drag to the body section. Okay. So you either you can do it like this way or you have another option. When you come to the right side, the region what you have created, regions attribute or regions property can be seen from here. Just give a name to this region as region or better will give us name as static region. Okay. And here you can see type of region is static content. We have selected uh, from here. That is why we got it. Otherwise, when you click on it, you get a lot of options over here. You want to collect, uh, create static option, uh, static content, smart filter, search thing, region display selector. So whatever options you are seeing over here, no, all these op options are uh, listed in this section also. And uh, in the down below, you will find a lot of other stuff. Let it be as it is for now. Don't worry about any of these things. Just save it and run this page. So as soon as you run the page, you can see a static region got created. Okay, static region means a region with blank uh, thing. And uh, you know, in, in this static region, you have an option called source and uh, 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 an editor is there with HTML code. If you click on it, if you click on this section, this this editor will get opened. And now here you can write your HTML code. Okay, for example, if I'll say H1 and I'll say my first region and close this H1 tag uh, like this, sorry, like this. Just click on save and run. You will see that uh, a header will get created in the region. Fine. So this is your first region, a static region. Okay. So that's about this video. We can we will see how we can you know create multiple regions, other type of regions like reports and everything in the coming videos. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any concern or if you have any suggestion. That's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you.